This is Brian Roy for DailyWildcat.com. We're outside of the Richard Jefferson practice facility, just days away from the red-blue scrimmage for the Arizona men's basketball team. It'll give everyone a first look at these brand new Wildcats. Certainly, many new freshmen, new faces. Of course, Sean Miller, first year head coach, will make his debut in McHale Center in front of a real crowd. Practice has been going on for the last couple of weeks and it's been awfully quiet around McHale Center. Certainly a lot more quiet than last year when Lute Olsen retired just days before the red-blue game. A lot more stable feeling, but that's just in the coaching staff. We don't know how these players will react to a real atmosphere and how the freshmen will fare. There isn't much to work with this year. You've got Alex Jacobson coming back. He'll be a red shirt sophomore, but really nobody saw much of him last year. A little rough around the edges. And of course, behind Jordan Hill, he really didn't get too much action. Then of course, you got the 6'10 freshman, Kariel Nizako. Who knows how he's gonna be like. He's just a freshman. He hasn't played a minute in college basketball, but Coach Miller may have to look at him to play some minutes depending on the opponent. Sean Miller could easily use a small lineup against many opponents, forcing them to go small with Nick Wise at point, Kyle Fogg at the, at the shooting guard. Then you've got the front court. You've got a few wings, a few oversized athletic freshmen that could do some work. You've got Derek Williams, Solomon Hill, that could easily pair up with Jamel Horn, another wild card. We saw a lot from him last year towards the end of the year. He needs to be consistent this year if the Wildcats want any front court depth. Regardless of how Miller plays, his roster sets up matchups in the red-blue game, we're really not going to know this team's identity or anybody's role probably at the earliest till the end of December, more realistically at the beginning of Pac-10 play. This team is a young team, even younger than last year's team, as we remember last year it took until middle of January for them to get clicking. So who knows, the red-blue game is Sunday at one o'clock. Don't expect many answers, aside from the roster and pairing up numbers with uniforms and faces, a lot of new faces here with the Arizona men's basketball team. For DailyWildcat.com, outside of McHale Center, I'm Brian Roy.